Hey guys, we got the 80 series Land Cruiser in the garage today. We're gonna be changing, changing out the transfer case fluid. Uh, the reason we're changing it out is we actually did the Sumo Gears overdrive on it. Uh, we just did the high range, and I can explain that a little bit later, but uh, we've had it for about 400 to 500 miles now. Just thought we'd give it a change, good to do, see if there's any metal shavings or anything like that in it. So it actually had Amsoil Severe Gear uh, off-road gear oil in it uh, from the shop that did the gears uh, and did the swap. So I'm going to be using uh, Mobile One 75 weight 90. That's what I run in the diffs. So uh, excited about that. The reason that we did this is because we put 35s on the truck, as you can see, and didn't want to break into the diffs. So we actually just did the high range. Uh, didn't do the low range because felt like the the ratio would be enough with 35s and the 10%. It actually puts it at a perfect uh, 452s. Um, I'll actually post that chart that Cruiser Tech has uh, in the video so you can see kind of what the ratio would be. But love the truck, couldn't be happier with it. it drives great on the highway. Uh, it's got some get up and go now. Shifts great uh, at about 70 to 75 miles per hour. It sits around 2600 RPMs, which is perfect for highway driving. But then when you get it off the trail and put it in the low range, it also uh, it doesn't hunt for gears and it's great. So I could not be happier. I highly recommend it if you're running 35s and you don't want to break into the diffs, which I did not. This, stock was, this truck was bone stock and the diffs had not been touched. So I wanted to keep it that way. I've got no noises from them, nothing. Uh, so a good way to give you that ratio for 35s is to do the high range. And I couldn't recommend it enough. It, it, uh, it honestly works great. Uh, it was easy. So if you, if you are debating putting bigger tires on your truck, go with this kit, uh, especially with 35s, and I, I really don't think you'll be happier. You can even do the low range while you're at it if you want to. I just didn't feel it necessary for my style of driving uh, and the type of overlanding slash off-roading that I do. So we'll get into it, but first, let's get our uh, tools and get ready to go. <music> torquing it to 27 foot pounds so we got our trusty dusty cobalt torque wrench here um, so make sure you don't over tighten the transfer case because you will crack it so let's get it going all right so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take off this factory skid plate so we can get access to our bolts uh, and also not drain fluid all over the skid plate and all over the drain. So let's get after it. So we got the factory skid plate off, as you can see, uh, pretty good condition. Not going to do anything with it. Uh, do highly recommend that when you put bolts back into your frame, you clean these holes out. Uh, you can take PB blaster or something that's similar, spray the inside of these, and then always coat uh, your bolts with lithium grease. It's going to act as kind of a protectant. Um, you're not going to have that metal on metal or raw metal on metal which ultimately leads to corrosion and leads to rust. So get yourself a uh, non-stick or a uh, non-seize, correction, anti-seize stick off Amazon. Rub down uh, your bolts uh, when you put them back in the frame and you'll be good to go. So when it comes to the fill hole and the drain hole, so obviously we've got the drain plug right here. 
and we've got the fill plug right here. Go ahead and break this fill plug. Obviously, uh, I know mine's gonna come loose just based off of what my transfer case looks like. Uh, yeah, you probably won't see one this clean. Um, took a lot of, a lot of work to get it this clean. However, if yours doesn't look like this, highly recommend you break the fill plug first and then you move on to the drain plug because if you open this drain plug but you can't get the fill plug undone, this truck's not going anywhere. So uh, highly recommend that. So let's get after it. So this is the bottom of the plug. As you can see, uh, very almost no metal on it at all. This is a magnet, obviously. Um, so very impressed. These gears haven't hardly haven't done anything. So uh, exactly what we wanted. Uh, so maybe this fluid change was a little redundant, but hey, that's okay. Uh, when you're dealing with a '96. And an 80 series Land Cruiser, it's okay to over maintain it. So, um, happy with these results. We'll go ahead and get it filled up and get it buttoned back up.
definitely a one banana job. So uh, should be good to get me through the summer. Got a big trip coming out, coming up to Ure and Telluride. So uh, should be good for the transfer case. Uh, diffs just recently replaced, so uh, should be good on our fluids and uh, time to crack open a cold one and enjoy the work. Cheers. Some things I want to show you real quick, uh, some good practices to do on the cruiser, especially when you're working on it. So I showed them during the video, but uh, Loctite NIC. So all this is is lithium grease. Anytime you're putting anything into the frame, that's not going to be torqued down to some specific spec. You're just going to do uh, hand tight or as tight as you can get it. Slap some of this on there. Um, really easy, just rub the bolts on it. I put it on everything that goes into my frame, all those 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter bolts. Slap some of this on it and you'll save yourself a lot of trouble in the future. You're not gonna have rust, it's gonna work out great. Another thing that I use is cross check, cross check torque seal. I uh, try to say that five times fast, but just get off Amazon, Daikin is what it is. Uh, all this is gonna do is gonna be a dummy check for you when you get underneath your 80. Uh, you can check to make sure you've got no nuts uh, that are loose or bolts or things like that. So great for suspension, great for transfer case, great for anything that's gonna experience stress or movement that might come loose, knuckles, things like that. So grab yourself some of this, do yourself a favor, and put this on every bolt underneath your truck. Uh, you will not be sorry. So couldn't recommend it enough. Um, all the stuff I've just, I've made mistakes in the past and I'm trying to uh, learn from other people's mistakes and learn from my own. So learn from mine and use this stuff to make your 80 what it is. So super excited.